Good morning, it's Tuesday the 19th of June 2018. I have had a bit of a lazy morning this morning, I've been doing so much stuff, I've been out of the house a lot and there's only so long I can manage leaving the house every day before I just crash. So I'm trying to conserve energy because I've got something to do today. And I've just been watching these old James Randi documentaries where he debunks psychics and stuff. I, I just find it really entertaining. And So today I've got a meeting with my social worker and a woman from a sort of service that the government provides or supplies money for called Enablement and I'm a bit nervous because I had so many issues with that other service that I had going way back to the beginning of this year in January and February where they just kept reporting for some reason that they hadn't done anything to help me even though they blatantly had and I started getting really paranoid and upset by it and going through and checking their notes and seeing how many times they failed to record things properly or just outright lied in them and um, ended up making complaints and obviously I got nowhere because they said that well they said our ladies wouldn't lie so you must be wrong anyway that was that and that's still hanging over my head a bit because the social worker says that since all those reports have been made it would stop me getting funding for a carer or even you know just a few hours a week of care because they would say that reablement says you don't need any help you know even though anybody that knows me anybody that's spent more than a day or two with me in real life or anyone that watches my video logs knows that my life is an absolute mess Things are constantly going wrong, I can't even manage to eat my meals and take my medication and stay awake and if I leave the house I often get lost and confused and I have huge gaps in my memory and I don't know what I've been doing or can't remember days at a time like they just weren't there. Obviously my worries with this new enablement which happens to have almost an identical name to the previous service I had a problem with which was reablement enablement reablement <laughs> they need to think of different names names that sound different it's just confusing anyway um, obviously because of what happened before back in January which isn't even that long ago you know a few months ago and the ongoing issues it's causing me with trying to get you know access to support and stuff so that I can live on my own I'm really nervous about the enablement people coming today I'm hoping really hoping that they'll just be able to help me figure out some ways of setting things up so that it doesn't go wrong I mean I've tried and tried and tried but sometimes you get to the point where you've done all you can and you just can't help yourself on your own anymore especially when your brain quite often feels a bit muddled hello I'm back so my social worker turned up and not only that but she came 20 minutes early which meant we had a nice chance to catch up and have a chat about how things have been going for me and then we just started chatting about general stuff. I, I always enjoy talking to her as a person. She's a really interesting, fun person to talk to and we probably have a lot of shared interests. So um, when I told her that I'd gotten the new foot tattoo and then she was wanting to see basically my entire leg. So I went through and explained to her what all the tattoos are and what they mean to me and my plans for the other leg. And that was fun. And then the woman from Enablement turned up and I thought instead of me being really paranoid and stressed out that she's going to record something unhelpful 
I should just be up front with her and explain to her what happened. And it turned out she'd already read the reports from reablement so she already knew what they'd said so I'm glad I did bring it up and I just explained to her that from my perspective they weren't recording um, all the stuff they were doing to help me they weren't recording that they were waking me up and they weren't recording when they'd helped me do something because I hadn't been able to do it and basically they just made out that I was way more independent than I really was and so I think that the woman today actually really understood that and understood what I meant and I think it's just really unfortunate that that's the purpose of reablement is kind of to try and make someone look as independent as possible to deny them access to other care so I mean I guess there was nothing I could do it's almost like it was bound to happen whatever I did regardless of the fact that I complained regardless of the fact that I was checking up on them you know so it wasn't actually anything I did or anything I could have done it's kind of their issue anyway the new enablement sounds really helpful I tried to explain my whole life story to her and that is very difficult so I'm not sure how much I got across and then I started talking to her about my fish keeping somehow and my social worker said that my symptoms, the way they are is, is quite unusual because if there's something that I'm really really interested in that's kind of a, like a, a challenge but something creative that I'm interested in I can sit there and do that and have concentration to do that for a few hours and that's great and I can actually you know achieve stuff there but for everything else basically every other activity of life just daily living in general I just can't seem to manage to hold the concentration no matter what I do so it was interesting to hear that that's the way Amy sees things and I think that's accurate the enablement woman said that she'll come back in a week or two and she just wants to spend the morning with me see what I usually do and what struggles I have and then she can work from that to help me come up with some techniques or plans or you know at least just record the difficulties I'm having if nothing else but I'm quite optimistic that I can really improve my sort of quality of life and my daily living and my independence if I've got someone to work with who really wants to work with me on it so I'm lucky to get that I think anyway explaining all this to the woman today did make me think that it would be useful for me to do a video for my YouTube channel where I explain my history because a lot of people watching this won't realise and most of the people I meet in real life never realise that I used to be a completely normal able-bodied person even only you know four or five years ago and I have this whole life story that happened before I became this and I think understanding that is kind of helpful in, in understanding who I am so I think that I'll make a couple of special videos this week. One will be an explanation of all my tattoos and what they mean and close-ups of the designs and so on. And the other one will be a little bit about my story of what it was like just before I my EDS sort of developed or progressed. So I'm hoping that you'll enjoy those videos. Bye bye for now.